Hey guys, it's BNSF Real Fans again, uh, and today we're going to do a little track work with you in a how-to video, um, which will just be laying track uh, and then soldering, all the essentials you need to have sturdy and nice track work. Um, so we'll cover everything you need to do from gluing cork down to getting the track soldered and then gluing the track to the cork. Uh, so let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we have the track in the orientation that we want it. Um, so once that is in the way, uh, location you want, you want to mark down each side with pen and pencil or something like that. So when you move the track, you have the area you are going to do it, so then you can start uh, cutting and shaping your cork to uh, lay down. Okay. okay, so we use Midwest Products Cork. They do a lot of cork products, not just railroad and stuff, but it's really good. And they're one of the few people who sell in North America. Um, I like their cork, it's better than like the lifelike or, I don't know, cheap crap you get. But, so it comes in strips, like, like so, uh, flat on each side, and you break it right in half, rip it apart, and then you have the nice bevel edge on each side, if you can see that, and it's nice and flexible. So, so now that we marked where we're going to do, we're going to start laying it down, uh, just roughly, into the rough area we want to put it. And you get the bevel edges on each side. Um, so as you kind of wiggle it around here and just kind of lay it roughly down, we're going to have to cut it with a uh, exacto knife to the right dimensions. So as you can see, the road bed is starting to take shape on each side of the track. As you put it on there, it's going to look nice. I'll just pull this piece all the way up to here. So that is flush. So actually you can just glue this piece and then do that piece after. So that is the next step. So as you can see, we laid the cork right onto the uh, switch co crossover when you are making the turnout. And so, and you can see the line, you kind of just trace it. You can do it cleaner than I do, but it doesn't really matter. And then right there, you just slice it right away. And so it contours to the turnout. And you shove that under there, and you should have a nice turnout. So yeah, so once you glue that in place, obviously you can see you tuck that in there, and then pull that out a little bit. Yeah, and then so you have a nice turnout like that. Okay, so now we're going to the next step is attaching the cork to the table. Okay, uh, so we had to do um, a little gluing already. We're going to show you how to do it, but we got this piece down um, just to get it out of the way, and then we'll do a smaller section here because sometimes it does require four hands, so hopefully this section will be a little easier. Um, but as you saw, all we had to do was do a little custom cutting here, um, and then we uh, just put um, hot glue down and put it right on there. But before we um, did that, we put markings where the, um, the cork looked good. So first you put down markings around the track where that is, and then you test fit cork under the track and then mark around the track. So we'll show you that right now. Alright, so this is the piece that is going obviously. It's a little bit easier once we have the two pieces to made up to, kind of. So I just kind of just ripped this cork to fit in this gap. I'm going to go right from here directly into here. Uh, to attach the cork, uh, you can either use the uh, foam tack or whatever. There's a bunch of different methods, but we just like to use hot glue. Uh, it gets fast to do, so you have to wait for like an hour for it to dry, and um, it's very secure, but it's still easy to rip up too, without too much of a hassle. So yeah, so this is very easy. All I have to do is just put a little dab to start you off, and make that piece right in there. You get that. There you go. Okay, and then it's easy. This is a little bit tricky because the track's already attached and together everything, but uh, I'll go, I'll actually just go corner from corner, so get that corner in. And once that is in, you can kind of just lift up, put a little underneath. Um, yeah, okay, so cool. So we'll just go in here, I'll shoot some under here, attach, shoot some under here, attach, shoot some under here. Attached. So that is relatively attached now. A little bit on that. 
I don't really worry about the gloves. You can just get those off. And then you can uh, test uh, fit kind of or look how that is. Kind of try to align the track. Get a little yeah. angle so here. Uh, yeah. So that's fine. So that's once you have this end uh, down, it's quite easy because you can just see how to really the only measuring is slot this piece in and just glue it right uh, up against its other partner. Kind of so, let it be easy. I just fit it in so I can cut to match. I'm actually gonna might trade this out a little bit. So you can just rip that off there to match up with the other cork or wherever you want it to end. Yeah. So there you go. Once that's in, you can see. So we have the road bed beveled out. I just did this custom really quick so we can uh, it save time. So you don't have to do it in here and then out there. I'm just gonna go out and throw this in, in the middle piece in. With a second piece, I'll just rip that to match. And so that needs to be a little bit thinner. It's my fault. You can either, actually, I'm going to cut this with a knife. Cork is very easy to work with, that's why I like it so much. Just slice it right across there. Just rip that off. So that will now fit in here. I can get a little bit of glue. I'm just trying to fit it under the switch uh, to fill it in a little more so we don't use so much ballast. And yeah. it's a little more uh, secure. You don't really need to, technically, but it's easier this way. And it gives you more support, I guess. Alright. So, yeah, I'll put this piece in. So now I'm going to work kind of around in the big piece. So I'll do all the small work first. Again, hot glue. I have to be kind of fast with this. So, crap. Let me put this in here. Like that. There you go. That's fine. Now that's good. It's not moving. Yep. And then this is the final piece. So this will be easy to tuck right up against the pieces that are already laid and attach it. So and as, you can, as you can see, the edges don't have to be perfect either. I mean, it's going to be covered. ballast and over stuff. Yeah. Just want to make sure there's not extreme overhang or you're missing too much. Yeah. So like again, a little dot at the end. Slide it in there. I'm getting on the track like I just did. It's fine, there you go. Alright, so dab on the end, dab on this end. I'll just put a little dab in here. It's a lot of dab, but whatever. Just get it in there. That is holding, it looks like, and then we'll just attach this right in here. This will be easy. I'll just shift the track over a little bit. Well, oh, actually, I can just. Oh, no, it's already down, whatever. Alright, so whichever way you want to do that came up or whatever, I'll just go. I'll show you the way. Down, slide that in. Slide it in. <laughs> All right, attach. All right. And smash it up against the previous piece. Yeah, and just really quickly. Doesn't take long. Oh god, get it in there. And yeah, it's all good. Now hold that for a little bit. Let that glue set up. It's hot glue, so it'll take a second. And so yeah, that's how to hot glue or attach your cork to the road bed. Quite simple. You can see it looks pretty nice. Trains run the fire on cork, I like it. You need your cork or foam. It's the laying method is about the same either way you do it. But so now we're gonna move on to uh, how to solder rail joiners and that should wrap up this video. Alright, All right, so uh, now we're gonna solder this rail joiner in here. As you can see it's not uh, perfectly connected, I don't know why I did that, but we cut it a little bit wrong, so I'll show you how to fill that in, and, uh, yeah, so I'm using a really cheap solder iron, I think it's like 20 bucks, well, a 25 watts, so it's not too hot, but it does the job, so I'll do this joint easy, so first, Try to get you're just going to want to heat it up, heat up the area you're going to solder, and then just feed in the solder, Sorry. and you can see, it starts to melt, I like to feed in a lot, and then kind of just clean it up, heat it up a little bit so it bubbles. There you go. And then, yep, so there you go. That's your basic joint. You can clean that up if you want. I'll just brush that off. But, yep, so there's the joint. That's done. That's now connected, obviously, as you can see. So that is your basic joint. Now we're going to fill in this little gap right here, um, which is okay because it leaves for room for expansion and whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, you can cut a little bit better, it's kind of awkward to fit this in here, but so yeah. So I'm gonna, 
I'm going to get some more wire, so we're going to fit this right in here. Put the tip and we're just going to feed it in. Just feed it in. Let it crackle. to the side. This is kind of an awkward angle to do this, but yeah. That's melted and the top is flat. Let me get the inside to the flange. Just don't okay, so that's perfect there, so you can see that. It's nice and flat. Uh, you can go over that with sandpaper and uh, make that cleaner. But that, in a nutshell, is how to solder. It's quite easy. Uh, you don't need to use flux, I don't use flux. Um, it makes it a little bit easier, but it also uh, is faster to corrode. So yeah, so you can do go over that with a little sandpaper, and you'll be good. And then also, um, we will be going over the sides of the rails with a paint pen or something to give it a weathered look. Um, so the solder is sometimes a little different color, not much, so it looks fine on its own, but once you go over it with a paint pen or something, it'll look just like the the rail so that's how to um, solder and then I'm not sure we'll show you this part because you can do it on your own but um, the last part is obviously gluing the track what you can use whoops is a uh, all-purpose uh, adhesive yeah this all-purpose adhesive and a caulk tube yeah and a caulk tube um, or you can get gun. your own it doesn't have to be in this form you can get um, like liquid nails and a little bottle or something yeah, and whatever you want to do, and then all you do is just slide it under the rails, uh, or the track, after it's been soldered. Um, and then you use a putty knife just to spread it like we've done here, as you can see. Uh, okay, like I was saying, for the adhesive, um, you can use almost anything. Just make sure it will bond plastic and cork and yeah. wood. Or cork is wood, but whatever. Um, and just make sure it does not eat through plastic. Just make sure it's not a very aggressive adhesive. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, for track work, you can see how we kind of do our stuff. Um, oh, dropping feeder wires, it's the same thing. Um, you just drill a little hole. 18 gauge, I use 18 gauge, you can use whatever you want. Um, and soldering is the same way. It's just with a different a piece of metal attached to that. So, yeah, I think with that said, that is done. So thank you guys for watching, and we will see you later.